Hello everybody, today I'm going to be giving you 10 tips on the new Wreckham Original Showdown. This western town features a mining company, theater, liquor store, bank, jail, sheriff station, and general store with a functional train running right through town. There are many places for you to hide and have a ton of fun shooting other players. And if you guys find this video helpful, definitely consider supporting me in Rec Room. It's free for you and it helps out my channel a lot. Just search up my name in game at Therapeutic and once you see my profile with the verified check mark, simply hit the support button. I would greatly appreciate it. So let's get started. Number one, the guns. There are three different types of guns in Showdown. This revolver is what you start out with. Think of it as the Showdown equivalent of a paintball pistol. It shoots six shots before it automatically reloads. There's also a shotgun, which shoots two shots before reloading. And a carbine, which has three burst rounds before it has to reload. You can find the shotgun down in the mines, sitting on a barrel. There are two carbines, one on the wall near the stairs in the liquor store, and one on top of the buildings in the center of the map. Honestly, the reload speed on any of these guns is not fantastic. You'll have to time it so that you don't have to wait that extra second or two and have someone shoot you in the meantime. Number two. The mines. The mines are a great way to hide and quickly get to various locations around the map. There are a few entrances. One, through the bank vault. Two, down the well in the middle of the map. Three, down a sloped path outside the Archibald Mining Co. And four, in the jail building outside of this broken cell. All of these are connected via one main path and you can pop up anywhere along the way to surprise people. Just note that it does take a while to get from one end of the tunnels to the other. It's probably best to memorize where each path and tunnel leads. This isn't a huge map, but it's intricate. Number three, the train. There is a functional train that periodically runs through the middle of this town. You can hop on top, ride inside the boxcars, but you can't follow the train into the tunnel. It will actually respawn you, so watch out. You can also use this train as a way to misdirect enemies. Hop on a train car, hide, and then double back. Number four, hiding spots. The best hiding spots I've found so far in this map include inside the corner of the bank vault, inside the train box cars, in this buggy outside the bank, behind the counter in the liquor store, or inside minecarts in the mines. Number five, high ground. Many of these buildings have connecting walkways up above. If you choose to stay above ground and fight, note that you can easily get around via these paths, but you might have to occasionally jump to hop between building locations. You cannot get higher than the second story. So going on top of certain buildings or this water tower is unfortunately not something you can do. Number six, practice with the new weapons. If you wanna practice shooting before you start a game, there's this little shooting area with guns when you spawn in. You'll see some revolvers sitting here with targets as a piano plays ambient Western music in the background. Get a feel for these guns before you face other players, as they're a bit different than regular rec room weapons. Unlike weapons in paintball, for example, you have to wait for them to reload, so timing is everything. Number seven, the bouncing buggy. There is a buggy outside of the bank that you can actually bounce on and get a pretty good vantage point to shoot people while being a more difficult target yourself. Also note that ladders here automatically have you climb up, just like other rec room maps, but these ones do feel slightly more springy at the top, but that could just be my imagination. Number eight, good guys or bad guys. You can choose to be either bandits or deputies. It's three versus three. There is a switch team button near the start button if you want to swap. If being a bandit makes you feel uncomfortable or something, I don't know. Teams are either blue or red, same as paintball though. Number nine, look out for lore. Notice that there is a sign indicating the population of Sarsaparilla Springs. It's only one, an individual named Archie. The Archibald Mining Co., Restoration Society, a broken jail that connects to a robbed bank vault. Could there be more rec room lore to come? With the addition of this Western map, paying attention to all these theories is extra important as we learn more. Number 10, screen mode. If you're worried about being a screen mode player and wondering how Showdown compares to VR, have no fear. This game was actually designed with screen mode controls in mind and it's optimized for playing on any non-VR device. It's still amazing in VR, of course, don't get me wrong, but definitely note that you'll be just fine in this PVP if you're on mobile, console, or PC. Overall, this new Requiem original is very well made. If you listen carefully, you can hear coyotes howling in the hills and dirt falling when you're down in the mines. From the rustic pioneer voiceover when the game starts to the detail in all the buildings, it feels like a genuine an old western town with a level of detail not yet seen in the game. Not gonna lie, this makes me very excited for the future of Rec Room, and I hope that you guys enjoy playing Showdown. Let me know in the comments what you think of this new western PvP, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care!